Hey everybody, in this set of tutorials we're going to walk through the basic process of laying out a model in VSP and how to find some documents that are going to be a good place to start so that you can get a reasonably accurate outer mold line with your first set of models. Now if you just need to eyeball it and do something fast, you absolutely can. This is not a method that's necessarily applicable to all situations, okay? This is just your run-of-the-mill, say you have a three-view drawing of an aircraft, how do we lay it up and try and get something as good as we can with what we have? So for a three-view drawing, you'll want to use things like uh, pilot's operating handbook or pilot's information manual for things like general aviation aircraft. Um, an airport compatibility document for things like transport aircraft, which you can find online, uh, most of these. And those are things for transport size aircraft from Boeing or Airbus or, you know, any of the manufacturers. They're going to have these documents online where you can find some pretty good information and sometimes a pretty good weight breakdown as well. So I will preface all the work that we're about to do by saying that uh, I'm not condoning or being a proponent of any particular aircraft manufacturer or any company. This is just happened to be the first one that I pulled on hand by searching for airport compatibility document. Um, so we're going to look at a Boeing 737 just as a, an example, but again, pick whichever one you want and it'll all come about the same. So I've gone online and downloaded the pilot, the, uh, sorry, the airport compatibility document. And in these, there's usually a three view drawing of general dimensions for whatever aircraft you're looking at. In this one, we have the 737 without the winglets. We can model it with, but just for simplicity, we're gonna go without winglets today. So what we're gonna do is because there are some dimensions in here that we might want that might not be drawn on the paper. We're gonna to go to tools and measure. This is all in Adobe Reader, by the way. Uh, you can see here I'm using 2017, but you know, pick your flavor, it should have it. We're gonna click on measuring tool. It's gonna to bring up some of these controls and we're simply going to click here and put another end of the dimension right here. And it says, okay, well, this is 5.046 inches in your document. We want that to read 129 and a half feet. So we need to come over here off of the dimension, right click and change scale ratio and precision. So here we can set, say 5.046 inches is 129.5 feet. Okay. Now that's not going to update the dimension that's already there. So we need to click on this, delete it, and then we can click. Not too bad. Okay. So now that we have our scale dimension on our model, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Three view drawings are usually there as a caricature for the actual aircraft. They're not technical drawings. They've got important and relevant dimension information in them, but that does not mean nor are they required to make sure that these drawings are to scale. So you might find that while you're using a three view drawing that you measure a dimension on the page and when you put it in, it looks different than what it says. And the reason for that is they don't necessarily want to be able to put all of the layout in a document that's available online, say for their competitors to get a hold of and suss out tiny little details about their aircraft. So be aware that sometimes when you put these numbers in, it's going to look a little bit different than the three view drawing. But in most cases, trust the numbers, not the drawing. All right. So here we have a relatively good match for going along this distance from the tip of the tails all the way to the nose. We can check this again if we like by clicking here and here. So we're off by a couple of feet here. So again, on the drawing, it should say that the nose to the front of the engine nacelle is 43 feet. The actual drawing is different. It's about two feet longer than what it's supposed to be. So a prime example of what we just talked about. So when we start to use this information to put our model together, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screenshot of these different three view drawings. We're going to load them into VSP as a background, and then we're going to start punching some of these numbers in, and then we're going to start changing our sections and adding components and doing things like that. So 
That's how you get the information and how you can measure all the different pieces inside the model. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to actually start using this stuff inside VSP.